Hello everyone and welcome to Everyone's a Critic. I'm Jake Mosier and I'm here with Francisco Melendez and Jacqueline Lemp. We all attended Citizen Jane this weekend. We'll be giving our final thoughts on the festival. Let's dive right in. So what'd you guys think? How was your experience? Um, I had a good time. Uh, the atmosphere was pretty good. Um, it was kind of cold and rainy that day, or actually the whole weekend, honestly. But I mean, it was still pretty good. Um, everyone inside like the theater was excited. They all clapped at the end. They all had good feedback during like Q&As. Um, so that was a good time. The only issue was that um, there were multiple theaters where all the shows were showing at because there were a ton of shows showing at the same time. And one of the theaters was way far off compared to... Was it Talking Horse? Yes. Yeah. They put the wrong address on the thing. So I was sitting there in the rain walking oh. around by myself and I couldn't find it. And I was like, okay, I went to an art studio. So this is not a movie <laughs> theater. I eventually found it. It was, it was a nice quaint place. Yeah. I, liked, I liked it. Mm -hmm. oh, what about you? How was your experience? Uh, I didn't end up in the wrong playhouse because mine was like across the street, but I enjoyed it a lot. The atmosphere was really nice. They had some really cute decorations. They made a tree out of tickets that was quite adorable. Mm -hmm. I saw that. Yeah. Uh, the, the only thing is like uh, my own fault for not buying a ticket. Uh, I had to wait outside with the other press pass holders in, in, the, in the cold. Um, th we didn't have to wait that long. It's, you know, but to anyone going in future years, Wear a coat, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. So what were your guys' favorite movies? Um, let's see. My favorite movie was one called Right When You Get Work. Um, so it was about, it was like kind of like a rom-com, I guess, but it address, addressed issues of class and race in it too as well. Um, it was about like two, a guy and girl, and they were like high school lovers, um, and then they split up. And then like nine years later, they re-encounter each other, and she's like a preppy, um, she is the admissions administrator for a prep school. Or, and um, he is a swindler, so they're kind of like on the opposite ends there. But somehow they like get together and they like come up with this like plan and to like help um, uh, admit like more a uh, device or uh, diverse students to the school. So it was a good movie and it was like pretty funny too. So I enjoyed That's it. That's good. What about you, Francisco? Uh, well, oof, that's hard. I know I ranked them recently recently like a segment ago but honestly the whole top three I love them so much I just I'll just say never going back it's um, it's a movie about these two 17 year olds they dropped out of high school and now they're working as waitresses and one of them uh, spends their whole rent money before like the week before rent is due to go to the beach to celebrate like the other one's birthday um, so the whole movie is like them trying to, you know, pay rent, uh, but not being able to. Uh, that sounds like a drama, but it is actually a hilarious, <laughs> raunchy comedy. Mm -hmm. And it is really enjoyable. The, the two main actresses, um, they are so enduring. They're like probably the realest um, female friendship I've seen in a movie like in a long time. It is um, just a great time, really funny. and. This is a high achievement. It has one of the only poop jokes I have ever laughed at in a movie, <laughs> and that is saying a lot. That's true. It's hard to laugh at those. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, my favorite movie was, it was called Night Comes On. It was directed by Jordana Spiro. She was Rachel in Ozark, apparently. Um, yeah. It focuses around this girl. She's about to turn 18. She gets out of uh, juvenile detention center, and she goes, she's on a mission. She wants to get revenge on her father for killing her mom. And so it sounds really dark, and it mm -hmm. is. It, it covers Ooh. heavy topics, um, both going through the foster care system. Her, she's a younger sister who's going through the mm -hmm. foster care system. She's, the story focuses on her and her younger sister. Her younger sister is hilarious. Typical, mm -hmm. it's kind of not obviously the same thing as like it, but as those kids act, sassy, mm -hmm. funny, they did a great job. She's phenomenal. The main uh, actress is from, I don't remember her name, but she's from HBO's The Deuce. She's also phenomenal. Uh, it deals with some heavy issues, but overall, it was a great directorial debut. Um, what was, what was the not worst thing you saw? But oh, well, it's all we have time for today. <laughs> if you want more content, please visit mutv.missouri.edu. Have a great night, guys.